Barry, there's somebody at the door. I heard it. Chase him off. I need quiet for the cover story. You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed. <sighs> yeah, I know. Psst. Rufus, come in. But please be very quiet, okay? There's only one single letter in the typecase. A capital Yerk. Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for? There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special, Mythological Physical Extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for? The cover story was about centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember. Hey Barry, why so sad? Oh Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell, and you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. <laughs> yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. Oh, right. I still need a suitable subject for a heroic deed. All these subquests. Yoo-hoo! Open up! Yes? Liebold! What luck! Uh, let me in! Do I know you? Excuse me? It's me! Rufus! Come on, you must recognize your leader! You look like Rufus, but you can't be him! Rufus made it to the Upper Ascension Station with Yanosh! Yeah, but I'm right here! That's your opinion! <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense! Who's in charge here? A new leader! Well, then let me in! I, I want to talk to him! No, I can't! How can I be sure you're not an Organon spy? <laughs> that takes the cake. After all, I started this rebellion. Oh, and is there anyone who can attest to that? You mean, besides you? Yes, precisely. Somebody else has to vouch for you? Huh. This is a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. But all right, I'll be right back. And you can get ready to do a few push-ups. Hello, you two lovely ladies. You again? What do you want? I need someone who can identify me. You are Rufus! Yeah, I know that, but Liebold appears to have forgotten. So will you come to the gate with me, so he'll finally let me into the camp? Maybe later. We're on an important mission right now. Oh yeah, you're painting each other's nails? Nah. We're giving each other tattoos of our squad insignia. Unfortunately, we're still missing a suitable design! <laughs> what about a little pony? Or a adorable kitten paw prints? Are you trying to tell us we're not tough enough? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I suggested that because I'm, I'm a macho male. Uh, not because I, I love adorable <coughs> kitten paw prints. If you want to test the toughness of my fists, just let me know. Bozo's sick. Ugh, not his milk allergy acting up again. Tell him I'm not gonna hold back his hair this time. Yeah, that's no fun, for sure. But that's not what I was referring to. I think he's depressed. Because of the planet's destruction? Ah, no idea. He's totally lethargic, just muttering to himself. Ah, he doesn't have to worry. The new general has a plan. I have a plan, too. Huh, in that case, I take it all back. He should be very worried indeed. 
Can't you take a short break to identify me at the gate? Not until we find the right design for the squad insignia. Our squad leader says it will boost our team spirit! Spirit? I thought you were on duty. Team spirit, Rufus! Don't you even know what... Ah, just forget it. I've got an idea for your squad insignia. Let's hear it. What about a shark? Huh. That's not a bad idea. Don't you think a shark might make me look fat? Uh, that would depend on the color. What about... <clears throat> Dusky pink! Uh, but then it won't go with the shoes. I'm sure you'll find something suitable. If you think of anything else, keep it to yourself. Unless it's actually good. Oh, you can't be serious. All right, I don't... That's... Something's moving back there. It's hard for normal eyes to tell what it is, but I can see it's a, it's um, it's a, it's a blurry blob. Uh, no doubt about it. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that? Oh, of course, that's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Well, look at that. I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. I need to be careful from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move, hurry it up. There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one. It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level. there. Huh? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him, you all love him, and here he is now with his current smash hit. Cowboy Dodo with Look at Me! A solar powered illuminated sign. You don't know what you want, where you stand. There's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. Come on, you choose. Play you and Cowboy Dodo. You're seeking expertise, that's okay, man, for a tooth. Style of life, you're self sufficient like a cop. I whip a solar, never pull a thing off sofa. But if you did it be on your own account, you never ask if I should skip every tutorial. We have your own, you've never oh, cited funny. any editorial. Like well, not so far, amigo. What's off of your big ego? The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, bro? You go, why is every moron struck by luck? Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is worth the look? If you never ask for help, and suit yourself with LRB. You wanna know how it's been done? Just look at me. Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your optics track it check? Die an actor remedy, just look at me. Did you die after quadruple? Need your loopholes for your pupil? Is it still too hot to see? Well, look at me. They call me Cowboy Dodo. Cowboy Dodo. <laughs> so what do you know? Cowboy the Organon is a Cowboy Dodo cowboy fan. Dodo. Now that he's distracted, I just have to find an open crate. Preferably one that call will be taken to Elysium, Dodo. and cowboy then Dodo. it's Dodo. goodbye Dodo. to Ponya. <laughs> Pity the goal yeah, isn't here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other Rufus. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I bet those other two are doing as well as me. They call me the Cowboy. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. According to the label, this one is going to the control level, so not to Elysium. I have to find another crate. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. It's secured with a combination lock. There we go. This one is going to Elysium. Oh, darn. It's
it's secured with a combination lock. There we go. This one. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. Oh, darn. I can't get it open as long as there's something on top of it. There's no label here. I have to find another crate. Also Elysium. Perfect. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that... Obviously, the search for the right crate will take... Ah, who cares? I bet I'm a lot closer to the goal than the other two. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooly and, uh, well, pacifier shaped. Here we go. Please be, f after all, ah! please. Th <laughs> there, that should shut her up for now. Here we go. I got it. There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now, here we go. Ha, got it. Hey, sure, I can light a fire this way. Ha ha, success. Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> 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 Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's-it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. She's alive. That's the most important thing. Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. Oh, golly, <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Something's moving back there. You said, what? Are you calling me a, a scaredy cat? Yeah, okay, you're welcome to go look for yourself, Miss Loudmouth. Yeah, you see? Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those Organons are. <laughs> And now, after the unparalleled success of Look At Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here, for your listening pleasure, comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around! Oh no, not the B-side too. Wow. You just can't get your eyes off me, can you? It's my very Yuki Derry show is over on my venue. Don't you ever have to blink? What are you, some kind of guppy? Why don't you just watch a bunny on my video with a puppy? Look, done once if you get it now, we've done enough already. I'll just stroll off somewhere else and you stay here nice and steady, right? Oh, well, it's no better. What's the matter? I'm a bolding is a bogey. I'm a no say what the thing you are beholding. Man, you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly. And I can't even blame you for I also have a belly full of living here. Where all you see is laughing full of litter. I hope I eat the pony here. I know it may sound bitter, but somewhere up Elysium is bound to be be found, you're just facing the wrong way, so turn around. 
didn't we agree? Nothing here for you to see. Now good laws never be found. Just look around. Got a stiff neck, maybe whiplash wearing flickers. Got your hip flash out, you're definitely grave. Got bound man, look around. Listen to the cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Dibbly da bop, look around. Look around. Well, he's actually got a point. People really should look around a lot more in their lives. Otherwise, they miss out on all the intruders! Alarm! Oh, crap. <laughs> it's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh, I hope not. And... And if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> your parents were real sadists, I guess. <laughs> well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it! That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Chew! A fine mess I got myself into. Sit. Stay. Hey, just stop that. We aren't dogs. Yeah, you can say that again. Dogs are intelligent and able to follow simple commands. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers inn. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And I got the five zlotties for it. Fantastic! You see, Goal, I told you I'd rescue you. Alas, what cruel fate drove this wretched creature down into the sewers? It's cold, wet, and filthy, and there are creepy witches around, like that one. Poor, poor Rufus. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Y yeah, but I... <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet Johnny's are extremely tear resistant. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Forever! Forever! Yeah! <laughs> You know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers inn for the five zlotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer! How was I supposed to know that? After all, Decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time, and it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. So you have five Zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five Zlotties, and at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, I, I, I see. 
Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No. I want to keep them. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> what was that? I'm making a monkey of myself so that you'll give me the five Zlotties. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. Why exactly do you need the five Zlotties? I'm keeping them. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, 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 tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. There actually is a dancing monkey. You mean the organ grinder's monkey? I've seen it. It's a miserable monkey. It can't even dance. I'll keep my money. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun, and... Uh, wait a moment! Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao!